Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving into the thrilling world of cybersecurity with our video, Top 15 Hacking Projects for Beginners in 2025. We'll guide you through innovative projects like password crackers, keyloggers, and ransomware simulations, all designed to offer a hands-on learning experience. Each project is carefully curated to teach you the fundamentals of cybersecurity in an engaging and interactive way. So, get ready to unlock your potential and dive deep into these fascinating topics. Buckle up, because this journey is about to get interesting. Let's kick things off with cracking passwords. The key word here is ethically. Learn how to ethically crack passwords and understand vulnerabilities. We'll explore tools like Hashcat and John the Ripper. Get hands-on experience with these tools. We'll discuss brute force, dictionary, and rainbow table attacks. By the end, you'll understand password security and how to improve it. Moving on to our next project, Let's dive into the world of keyloggers. Keyloggers are tools that record keystrokes on a keyboard, and while they can be used maliciously, they also have ethical applications in cybersecurity. Understanding how keyloggers work can help you protect against them. We'll start by exploring the different types of keyloggers, including hardware and software keyloggers. Using a simple keylogger script, you'll see how keystrokes are captured and logged. Finally, we'll discuss preventive measures to protect against keyloggers. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of keyloggers and how to defend against them. Next up, we have network sniffing. This project will teach you how to monitor data traffic in an ethical way. Network sniffing is a powerful technique used to capture and analyze packets of data as they travel across a network. We'll explore tools like Wireshark, one of the most popular network sniffing tools used by professionals. You'll get hands-on experience by capturing and analyzing packets with Wireshark. Finally, we'll cover the ethical implications of network sniffing and the importance of obtaining proper authorization before monitoring network traffic. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid grasp of network sniffing techniques and how to use them responsibly. In this chapter, we'll explore the techniques of ethical network disconnection. For example, during a cybersecurity assessment, you might need to isolate a compromised device to prevent further damage. We'll start by discussing the basics of network disconnection and the various methods that can be used. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll learn how to perform a de-authentication attack using tools like Aircrack NG. Finally, we'll discuss the ethical considerations and best practices for network disconnection. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a thorough understanding of network disconnection techniques and how to use them ethically. SQL injection, or SQLi, is a common and dangerous web vulnerability. We'll explore what it is and how to protect against it. Learn to perform a basic SQL injection attack. Use tools like SQL Map, to see how attackers exploit vulnerabilities. Finally, we'll cover best practices for SQL injection prevention. By the end, you'll understand SQL injection and how to defend against it. Bug bounty hunting is an exciting and rewarding field in cybersecurity. Learn how to become a bug bounty hunter and find vulnerabilities in systems. Discover what bug bounty programs are and how they work. Explore popular platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd. Understand common vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting and SQL injection. Get hands-on experience in a simulated bug bounty program. Learn to submit detailed bug reports. Discover best practices for success. By the end, you'll be on your way to becoming a proficient bug bounty hunter. Phishing attacks are one of the most common and effective methods used by cyber criminals. In this chapter, we'll explore the world of phishing and how to avoid falling victim to these attacks. We'll start by discussing what phishing is and the different types of phishing attacks. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll create a simulated phishing attack. You'll see how easy it can be to create a convincing phishing email 
and why it's so effective. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for avoiding phishing attacks. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid understanding of phishing and how to protect against it. Port scanning is a fundamental technique used in network security. In this chapter, we'll explore the world of port scanning and how to secure your network against unauthorized access. We'll start by discussing what port scanning is and how it works. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll use tools like Nmap to perform a port scan. You'll see how to identify open ports and services running on a target system. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for securing your network against port scanning. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of port scanning and how to protect your network. Persistence is a key concept in hacking, referring to the ability of an attacker to maintain access to a compromised system. In this chapter, we'll explore the techniques of persistence and how to prevent them. We'll start by discussing what persistence is and why it's important. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll simulate a persistence attack. Using tools like Metasploit, you'll see how attackers can establish and maintain access to a target system. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for preventing persistence. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid understanding of persistence techniques and how to defend against them. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people into divulging confidential information. In this chapter, we'll explore the techniques of social engineering and how to protect against them. We'll start by discussing what social engineering is and the different types of attacks. This includes phishing, pretexting, baiting, and tailgating. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll create a simulated social engineering attack. You'll see how easy it can be to manipulate people into revealing sensitive information. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for protecting against social engineering. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of social engineering and how to defend against it. Understanding digital threats is crucial for any cybersecurity professional. We'll explore how to analyze different types of digital threats, like malware and ransomware. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project analyzing malware. Using tools like IDA Pro and Wireshark, you'll learn to dissect malicious code. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for protection. By the end, you'll understand digital threats and defense strategies. Steganography is the technique of hiding information within other data. In this chapter, we'll explore the techniques of steganography and how to detect hidden information. We'll start by discussing what steganography is and the different methods used to hide information. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll create a steganographic message. Using tools like Steghide, you'll see how to embed and extract hidden information within an image. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for detecting and protecting against steganography. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of steganography and how to defend against it. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts a victim's data and demands payment for the decryption key. In this chapter, we'll explore the world of ransomware and how to protect against it. We'll start by discussing what ransomware is and how it works. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll simulate a ransomware attack. Using tools like the Hidden Tier Ransomware, you'll see how attackers encrypt data and demand payment. Finally, we'll discuss best practices for protecting against ransomware. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a solid understanding of ransomware and how to defend against it. Data extraction is a critical skill for any cybersecurity professional. In this chapter, we'll explore ethical data extraction techniques and how to use them responsibly. We'll start by discussing what data extraction is and the different methods used to extract information. Next, we'll dive into a hands-on project where you'll perform a data extraction task. Using tools like Beautiful Soup and SQL Queries, you'll see how to extract and analyze data from various sources. Finally, 
we'll discuss best practices for ethical data extraction. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of data extraction techniques 